Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is X Snyder here with an, another tutorial video for your typical Minecraft gaming. And we're going to be looking at a mod called RF Tools, specifically a remake video of an elevator tutorial that I made in the past. I realized there were some things on the screen blocking some information. Um, and it, I ended up having a little too much fun with trying to beat a server restart clock. So the idea here is to go ahead, be in a relaxed environment, and I have to rush anything and kind of show you guys around with the mod. Um, so what we'll be seeing today is going to be this little fun little setup. It's pretty simple, not really complicated. Uh, it's pretty much two elevator blocks from RF tools, two screens, a few button modules or elevator button modules. Um, put it in the building you wish to put it in, a power source, screen controller, and some optional but not needed infusion. Which I'll get into as the video goes on. So what we're creating here is, and as you can see, it, it's not hooked up, but I do have a prototype so that I can go ahead and, and kind of give you guys the rundown of what's going to happen. So um, the screen controller, as you can see in the top middle of my screen, um, from RF Tools, I've already scanned it and it sees two screens. You have the first one and the one up above, and that's that's correct. So with that being done, I also have a power source given to the screen controller and also the elevator. Now, I do want to note that this elevator on the very bottom of where I'm doing it, um, it's, it's powered from the ground. And you'll notice that it works to any other one up or down. However, it is very possible, let's say, that you're going down and your base is up top. So let's say we're at ground and we need to go down. You could power it from the top and go ahead and actually still make it work. Ideally, you're going to want your main level of where you're controlling it to be powered. Um, think of it as like your elevator controller, so to speak. So to finish setting this up, I have all the needed requirements. I have a floor that I want to use. Uh, I have the elevator. I have a power source of some sort powering both of these, and then I have my screen controller. All things that um, I definitely want by default. So I do have some sc screen modules, and if I can go ahead and throw these in here, we can actually mess with the coloring a oops, mess with the coloring a little bit for fun. Close it. And we'll name it, let's try to not name it. Let's see what happens. Okay, cool. Good to know. So we're going to take that elevator button screen module. And we're going to go to the elevator and you're going to shift and right click. Elevator module is set to the block. Now, you notice I'm on the ground. So I actually went to the next opposing Elevator in this case, it's of which I'm going to so I'm starting here going there So ideally if this module is going to be in this screen I want to have a button that says go top So we're going to go into here Install it It saved its settings. It's connected and it shows buttons. Yay Now We need to fix this so we want to do vertical Boom now it's vertical it's connected and you can actually see there's both makes a lot of sense because the screens are actually controlled to here which sees both of them and the module is connected to that elevator which is connected to this screen which connect to the here and it's like a round robin effect so it notices that it's connected to one elevator and because it's in a screen the screen goes to here by default, because it's in the same uh, y-axis, it finds that. As long as it's in range, there is a range limit. I haven't tweaked to find out, and I'm sure there's information of it, but just do note that there is a range limit on it. However, you can tell that this is quite a good distance. Um, 
if you have to it, i have done very complex setups to where i was using multiple screen controllers and i made it work however this is your basic setup this is actually a, a pretty good distance for uh setting up an elevator so we're here we want to test it out so let's go ahead and test it out and we made it however can't do anything here so what we need to do ideally you want to connect it to the opposing one but for sakes of testing we're going to go ahead and try it with the one we're at vertical and leave it there so now let's test it so now let's say i told you wrong and let's say no i want to connect it to this elevator throw it in there keep it vertical settings are saved still works it was a common sense practice to do opposing directions so if i was starting up top i would want the screen module to connect to that elevator to this screen so i could see that elevator's control so this screen would control that elevator which would pull this um elevator floor to it um that's that was the idea however i'm noticing that it's not the case so i've there you go that's pretty much all there is to that so you kind of see you, you, you get the gist of how it works. It's, it's quite simple. Um, so let's let's go ahead and let's let's also run through it. Uh, you know, from the ground up. You don't know, like just in case. So you have you have um, oh, you have your power source, and then you want to put your screen controller connected to a power source. And next, you're gonna want the actual elevator. So here's our floor again, and then you want to figure out where you want to go. So in our case, we're just going to go up a few floors, not too high, and we're going to go ahead and place an elevator there. Next, on top of that, I usually like to, to add, you know, a screen right here. You don't have to. I've actually done some interesting things. Let me just build this prototype real quick. And let's do... Nope. One more over. I was a little too far. Ignore the kiddo. He's having a blast of fun. So you can actually put that here. And then for this screen controller, as you can see, that's all there, mimics that. Let's say we want the screen here. And I want it there for some reason. Oh, okay, come on. Behave. Go. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and, and, and do something a, a little fun, right? Let's let's put the screen, put the screen right there. <laughs> Cause we can, right? And then let's go ahead and let's actually change the block to something random. So let's do this. That works. And then what we're going to do is we're going to need two screen modules. And if you guys are trying to follow along, you get a little lost. It's okay. No need to, uh, no need to fret. And we're going to wait on that screen module. We're going to scan our screens in the screen controller. It sees both of them. It's in range. That's good. <clears throat> Can't see the buttons. That's fine. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> you can actually set these two letters. So if I wanted it to be like uh, one two, go ahead and set it to one two, and I believe one would be here because it's highlighted. So it highlights where you are. So here, which is one, and two is up. But I want to go ahead. I want to change it. I want to do vertical, and I want to remove these names, and instead, I want the names to come from here. So we're gonna name this um, ground. We'll nickname it like this. So ground level escape. Oh, it shows ground level. It doesn't show the next one, so we can actually just go ahead and, and jump right here and say level um, level two. Technically, I guess right. And then see, it sees level two. You can actually go ahead and go up. Can't control the screen yet. Go ahead and shift click this elevator. You can actually hold it in your hand and right click and it'll actually drop it right in there. Handy dandy like that. Um, again, you see how it does this? I want it vertical because I'm using names. And there you go. You can actually change other settings too. You can put light, uh, start one. I mean, you can do a lot of things. Now you can change it like that. I can come down here as well and I can I can change all these buttons and I can I can change the color of it however I want. Close that one and then select like uh, that one or that one or whatever it may be. Close and then close it. There you go. So level two. 
And let's make these the same color. Let's say we get confused. Let's do red. And let's do... Let's do uh, green. Let's do green. Let's, yeah. So red, green. Ground level. Go into settings. Color. Oh, that's not red. That is though. So red. Green. We're currently on ground, which is now green. Go to level 2. We go to level 2 and it shows green. So that shows your active color. So you can kind of pretty much figure that out. That current level button color and then your button color. Um, obviously your um, settings are going to differ. And you can do large. You can do not large. And they're going to... Depends how many you have. You can do vertical. You can do horizontal listing. You can lights off. Or you can do lights on. Just makes it shine a little better. We can copy that settings here. We can go ahead and do this. There you go. However you like it. Set that up pretty quick. Pretty straightforward. You go up and down. Yes, you can start from the top. So if I wanted to move this and say I wanted to put the power there. And then I wanted to put the, the screen controller right. Uh, let's say I wanted it right there. I, you know, oops. Uh, power it right here and you know just scan for the the screen oh, look they're scanned again they're over there that's powered and that's powered so let's go ahead and try it again there you go different elevators powered so what if I don't power it right let's see what happens it runs right no power awkward right reason is quite clear is that this still has RF in it or FE there's there's as you can see there's there's two I actually my information panel shows me the FE power, but I have the conversion uh, calculator that you could call it that says the RF is that number. Um, very weird. Um, it does say FE, however, it's RF. Don't worry about that. It's just the power. But it does have power, so I can go ahead and make it go up a little bit. Come back down. How about you go back up again? Come back down. Look at the power. The power has changed. Maybe I want to, oop, maybe I want to change the block to, uh, let's do something, uh, a little whack. Let's say I want to do a bunch of screens. Yeah, how about that? Let's see if this would work. So here, here, and here. Let's see if this works. Go up. Go down. Nope, doesn't work. Let's try another crazy one. Let's try, um... Let's try presence. Yeah, everyone likes presence. Presence. Presence go up. Presence go down. Works like a charm. Let, let's say we try to do this. And go. And it doesn't go. Which makes sense because it's power source. So now it's powering that. Or at least it's trying to. Um, let's say we want to do this. And then we want to do this. Go up. And back down. And let's say we want to do this. And go up. And go down. How about we do this. And go up. And come down. And let's try to add another thing. Let's go up. And let's go down. As you can tell, there is a lot of finicky things of how this works. You can connect here and here, and only that goes. And back down, you can connect here and remove there, and there, go up, go down. Very, very, very strange. But something to note. You can also tell that I'm also changing the floor size. Making the floor size quite bigger. This is possible. If that is what you're wanting. So let's try like a funky size. Let's try let's try doing this. Let's try doing that. And then let's try um let's try uh, another funky size. Let's do let's do uh let's do let's do that. No, would you look at that? Let's bring it back down. This obviously you can tell it goes to the screen. A little weird, huh? So let's do it again. Ah, look at that. So definitely something to play with. Just thought I'd show you guys uh, a little 
Little fun trick with the sizing of the floor. You saw the elevator. You saw there's still no power, but look how much RF it still has. It lasts quite a bit as a good backup. Power either or, really. Just one or both. This obviously is uh, still powered. Um, the next last thing I want to show you guys, just uh, easy real quick, is the machine fuser from RF Tools. Pretty simple. Um, if uh, So I have this. I'm going to go ahead and search it. But if you search up for the dimensional shards from RF Tools, you can actually throw them inside of the infuser, machine infuser, and it'll infuse it any any block really from RF tools every block has a, a different bonus so this one says that the infusing bonus reduces the power consumption for the screen controller it increases the range for the infusion uh, infusing bonus on the well <laughs> infuser it reduces power consumption for infusing so every block has something different we can search up uh, Environmental controller has reduced power consumption. The spawner reduced, uh, reduced power usage. Matter beamer reduced power usage, increased speed and less material needed. This one again, reduced power. I mean, so you can kind of look through here and, and get an idea which each one does. As you can see, the composer does not have anything. The locator does not have anything or the projector. Some of these are pretty common sense. Um, the builder, of course, would have one. So. You definitely can mess with this and look, obviously the sequencer, the counter, the logic gate, inventory, sensor, stuff like this doesn't have it either. Um, but it's actually really nice, including since reduced power consumption always can help. Um, increased range is always good, such crazy things like that. Hopefully this guy's, um, wow, I'm sorry. Hopefully this was actually helpful for you all. Um, if I was talking too fast or if you uh, ha had a hard time keeping up, don't be afraid, pause the video, go back, take a look. In fact, uh, you take a couple of screenshots if you want. You got this elevator, you got, um, you got, uh, th this big old nice thing, if you, if you like that. But, I mean, there's all, there's all sorts of, uh, options you can do from small to, to big, but just make sure it's the same, same Y axis, up and down, vertical. Hopefully this is helpful for you guys. I hope to see you around on the next video or the next tutorial, whichever one comes first. Let me know if you have any other ideas or tutorials that you are looking for or you are in need of, and I will definitely get one wrapped up and situated for you or you all. Uh, and I will, of course, see you guys around on the next one. All right, have a good one. Bye. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.